So welcome back, and I've got a very quick one for you today, uh, hopefully. Um, a friend of mine has a, a Kingscale A4. He'd removed the pistons and uh, to do some work, but in looking, going to put them back, uh, if you see this picture, there is a step at the end of the, like a counter bore at the end of the piston, or end of the cylinder, sorry, which is stopping him being able to put the piston in and get the rings in compressed to go into the groove, by hand anyway. So he gave me a call and said, what can I do? And I said, right, it needs a little sleeve to, to hold them. Um, so I've had a look through my materials, Went in the cupboard, found a bit of alley, bigger than it needs to be on the bigger side. In fact, that off-cut turned diameter is actually the diameter that the bore wants to be. So I thought, well, there's a lot of materials to take out of that. What I'll do, I'll use a hole saw. Let's take a look. So my theory was to save some material, I would use one of these hole saws. I think it was that one I was going to use, 38 mil. Well, actually, it might have been the 35 I was going to use, but 38 would do the job because it's 40 mil is the ball. Uh, but I can't find a holder for this size. I've got the smaller size holders, I can't find the bigger holder. So, machine it all away. I thought, oh, it's a lot of material to take away. What can I do? I'll have another look through my drawers, and I found this. Bush, I suppose it was at some point. It's actually got a taper, so it's a tapered bush. Uh, you probably can't see, but when you look that way, you can't see the bore at all. When you look this way, you can, so it's tapered. Small end, this end. It's smaller than the bore wants to be. So what I'm going to do is turn it until I get to the bore diameter and this end is actually bigger than the bore so it should actually engage with the rings opened push through and push into the bore let's see what we can do and uh, machine this down what I'll do I'll put it in the lathe this way uh, I might need to turn the drawers, drawers around I'll machine the ID and then I'll also machine a register on the outside to go inside that counter ball. So there we go, I've machined the inside. As you can see, it hasn't gone that far because of the taper. And I've machined the outside, which should go inside the register on the engine. Now I don't think the register is that big, but the idea is it goes right up inside. And the only way you'll know it's gone all the way up is if you can see a gap here. Uh, so hopefully, with the leading that that's got, we won't even need to compress the rings to get it started. We can just push it through that, knock it up and the rings will compress, and then it'll just push into the bore. So you'll see it's back in the machine. I've decided to take this shoulder off the outside, just in case there's any clearance issues around the engine. Uh, so yeah, we'll just get rid of that. But I will still leave it the length that it is.
So at the moment, I'm working by dimensions taken by Mike over the phone, which I wrote down. Um, <clears throat> he gave me a bore of about 40 mil. Well, the engine's metric, so I'm going to guess that the bore is 40 mil and the register at the end is 43. So I've bored that into 40 mil and the outside is a fraction under 43. So that is hopefully an insertion tool. So that can go on the end of the cylinder. The piston can just be pushed through it. Because it's got a taper on the inside anyway, I don't know what this was once upon a time, but because there's that taper, the piston ring should just, the piston with piston ring should just drop into it. And as it pushes through, compress the rings. Uh, if it doesn't, we might have to shorten it and just compress them as normal. But hopefully, with plenty of oil and a little persuasion, uh, that should do the trick. So I'm off to see him tomorrow and we can see if it works. So I've now come down to Mike's. Uh, here's Mike and the engine. Got the collar and let's see how it works. So the intention was, with that being tape, the taper that I showed you, as that goes in, that will sit in the end of the piston uh, cylinder and the taper inside will close the rings up and it will just pull, push through and stay in the cylinder. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. So, that is caught somewhere. That's a There we go. In. So there we go. That's as far as we got to with Mike. Um, he's going to put it all back together and maybe we'll see it running at some point. Depends if we can get to the same place as him to see it running. Um, but a nice little tool to help you put a piston into a cylinder, especially if you've got a, a register at the end of the board to take, take a tool work nicely and if even though i was planning to make it with a parallel bore um just because that was a bit easier um the fact that what i the bit of material i found had that taper on it made life so easy you just chucked it on the piston slid straight through it i would recommend putting a taper on the inside of an insertion tool like that any day of the week it made life a dream but as for now I'm going to go back to my beer and watching England hopefully come back from a half-time deficit against France in the Six Nations match. Um, I must say, I did listening to some of the video I've done, the, the, I've been trying with a microphone um, to try and make the sound quality better. Maybe I had it too close to my mouth because it sounded like it was a bit muffled and crappy. So I do apologise for that. Hope you got the gist of it. And I will see you soon where we carry on with the uh, seven and a quarter wagon. All I will say, I'll put in the description a link to a video of one of the King Scale A4s that I have driven. Different, a different A4, but uh, I have driven a King Scale A4. And here's a, I'll put a link uh, to show it to you running. Thanks for watching. See you soon.